Hi, how are we doing? I'm Ben from EQL Networks and Security. Today we're going to be looking at half duplex and full duplex transmissions and the differences between them. If you're new to this channel and like what you see here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on our socials to stay up to date with the latest network tips, news and reviews designed to save you time. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business. Now let's get right into this. Let's start with half duplex transmission. A half duplex network consists of a point to point setup where devices are connected via the network cable. The devices on the network are capable of communicating with each other with each other in both directions. However, communication is limited, only allowing one device on the network to communicate at a time. If the device at point A is sending data to the device at point B, the device at point B cannot send data to point A until point A finishes sending data to point B. So data can only flow in one direction at any time. This is similar to how walkie-talkies work. If a person wishes to communicate something, they must press and hold down a button to transmit their voice while another person listens. While the button is pressed, information can only go in one direction, preventing them from hearing the other person's voice. In order to receive the transmission from the other person, that button must be released. In a full duplex setup, this isn't the case. The main difference of a full duplex tr transmission is the ability to send and receive data at the same time at any given moment. This means that full duplex transmissions have double the bandwidth of say half duplex. Bandwidth simply refers to how fast the network can transmit a set amount of data within the network. In the case, full duplex transmissions are capable of transmitting large amounts of data at greater speeds than say half duplex. Prominent use of full duplex transmissions is evident with the use of telephones. Whilst on the phone you can hear and talk and also hear the other person simultaneously. You don't have to wait for either person on the phone to finish talking before you can respond. Half and full duplex transmissions can be thought as basically two different roads. With half duplex, cars share a single lane. This lane can only allow traffic to move in one direction at a time. Cars wishing to use the lane would have to wait their turn in order to get to the destination. Considering this is only a one lane, collisions between cars do happen occasionally, and to prevent this happening, a traffic control officer is employed to regulate the traffic in the lane and to respond re 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 correctly if a collision does occur. This traffic control officer, also known as a CSMA, CD or Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Detection. So with a full duplex transmission, cars don't have to wait as they use two lanes. Each lane is dedicated to each direction and therefore does not require a traffic controller. As cars travel on their intended lane to their destination, eliminating collisions. Today it's rare to see half duplex transmissions in cable networks as it is intended for older legacy equipment such as network hubs, which are basically obsolete now. So nowadays we use network switches and they can provide and operate using full duplex, whereas hubs could only operate using half duplex. However, half duplex is predominantly used still in the Wi-Fi technology. When connecting to a network, packets of data are sent backwards and forth in a sequence between the wireless access point and that the device is connected to. You know, data can't be sent and received simultaneously. When developing a network, consider what devices would benefit from having full duplex versus half duplex transmission. So if you're planning to install security equipment within a complex such as cameras, intercoms, alarms, etc., it's always best to ensure that you invest in devices that require hardwired connections as opposed to one that requires a wireless one. You know, this reduces the chances of equipment becoming compromised and also ensures that your devices are at the highest potential. So that's it for this video. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and click on the bell to subscribe. This will allow you to get notified of our latest product reviews, tips designed to save you time. While you're at it, hit us up in that comment section for any questions you may have. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business.